Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been making headlines recently over their fresh approach to dealing with the royal family. Last week, reports suggested the Duke of Sussex will be putting in a birthday phone call to his father, King Charles, on his 75th birthday on Tuesday. Well-placed sources informed the BBC and The Telegraph that the Duke was ready to extend an olive branch to his father and start mending their rift. The claims came a week after the Sussexes spokesperson revealed the couple had not received an invite for the King's birthday celebrations. During the call, Harry as well as Meghan spoke to the monarch, who also saw a video from Archie and Lilibet wishing him a happy birthday, according to reports. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family Buckingham Palace declined to comment at first, but later suggested a call did in fact take place and another phone call is scheduled for next week. This weekend, friends of the Sussexes claim to the Sunday Times that the pair want to change the state of play and would readily accept a Christmas invitation to Sandringham. But now experts are questioning the amount of leaks coming from sources linked to the Sussexes, only just a year after Harry lashed out at the royal family for leaking stories about him and Meghan to the press in their Netflix show. During his and Meghan's docuseries Harry Meghan, the Duke claimed palace insiders knowingly leaked stories about about him to the press and thwarted their plans to relocate outside of England. The Cullen Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online. Advert free gets super fast page loading start 30 day free trial he said they leaked information about the possible move to South Africa after scrapping plans to move to New Zealand back in 2018, as well as Canada. Harry explained, it became clear that the institution leaked the fact that we were going to be moving back to Canada. The royal also opened up about the ways in which communications teams for different royal family members are set up. He said, there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. So if the comms team want to be able to remove a negative story about their principal, they will trade and give you something about someone else's principal. So the offices end up working against each other. There's kind of this weird understanding or acceptance that happens. But now Talk TV's royal editor Sarah Hewson has hit out on the Sussexes and said that if they really want to reconcile with the royal family, they can't have it all in the papers. She said, this is one of the biggest issues for the royal family. If they're going to start trying to repair the damage that's done, they can't have it all over the papers.